Okay, so I thought I would share this experience before it leaves my brain because I thought it's really important to get this out and you really need to know why. Oh, hello. Apparently in the Netherlands, there we have another one there. So it's not that, you know, Aww. they're better than you. It's just, yeah, no, no, you, you as well. Don't worry. You're, you're fine as well. You ready? Get it. Where's the book? Where's it? And so we're here in sunny South Africa. It is winter, but nice 18 degrees Celsius. We're here for my brother's wedding. One second, let me just quickly throw the ball for the dogs. Oh, nice catch. We're on our way to Canada for the World Triathlon Series race in Montreal coming up shortly. Uh, it was a pretty, pretty awesome time here. We spent uh, kind of six days out here in South Africa and now we're heading through to Montreal where we have a race on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So Friday is the heat, Saturday is the main event if we get through to the finals. And then Sunday we have the team relay. We have a massive trip coming up. Okay, let's go. That straight that was a straight catch right there. Dog, dog, I'm trying to focus. No, you want to help? You want to help pack the bike? Yeah, you guys coming with? Are you going back? Where are you going? See you. So we're boarding the first flight to America. It's a 15 and a half hour flight, which is massive. And let's see if we're gonna get some sleep tonight. <laughs> so we just got into New York airport. And it was the best flight ever. That was possibly one of the worst flights. Top, top, top five worst flights, I think. Top three. Top three. Can you actually think of a worse one? Um, yeah. I've got yeah. a couple of them, okay. but then it's worse. People were coughing. We're probably going to get sick. If we don't get sick, I'll be very impressed. So met someone famous at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Watch all your stuff, so yeah. Dude, great to run into you again. Yeah, it's been uh, like, what, eight years? I think. Last count. It makes, me, it makes me feel old. <laughs> we're both getting old. We've got some cool cool trips lined up, so yeah. yeah ah, maybe cool. check your Europe side sometime. Yeah, we'll probably see you in Europe. Let us know if you're in Europe. Let us that's like, yeah. oh yeah, I've only done snowboarding twice, so. I haven't done it in longer than I would like to admit right now. Pipeline. <laughs> yeah, good Sweet to see you. Good, good seeing you. Safe travels. What? like that we made it in Canada so we just got the lift and we're getting this old school bus which looks like American school bus which is pretty cool and the bike cases are in the back they are Iroquois the Iroquois were the enemy. 
Okay, so I thought I would share this experience before it leaves my brain because I thought it's really important to get this out and you really need to know why. So we got to the hotel at about one o'clock and it is now five o'clock. We finally got into the room and this room looks like something from kind of like a hostel nightmare scene or something. Something that your, your parents would never want to see you living in that state. It's a little bit, maybe not that bad, but here's my luxurious bedroom and this mattress has not even got a sheet covering on it which is pretty good Rachel has to sleep on the other side so she's over there and at least I've got my own space no she's got her own room here's the living room and if you think this place was like five years a night you are mistaken here's the bathroom pretty good yeah, that's what a thousand years looks like for, what, five nights? 120 years a night. Uh, and this duvet, I just Can't. need to lie underneath it. And I don't like to complain about things, but wow. Like, wow. Luckily, we've got somewhere to sleep tonight, so I'm thankful for that. Gotta be thankful for the small things. time for some breakfast here in the campus hotel let's see if we go and hang out with all the studenters and then a bit of a swim bike run <laughs> breakfast of champions there's a toothpaste Bit of a bike to the pool, bit of a swim, bit of a bike, and we head off back. If you ain't heard on me, sh no, you cannot get on my list. Whoa, you know I'm stacking the chips though. 200 soon as I hit go. Make a monopoly profits. Gucci and Prada is not what you rocking. Ego so big, I'm always the topic. Can't even see me, so how you gon' stop it? I just pulled up in a biz. Ay, riding with class. Don't know me, go get your friend. Be both on your ass. I put a rock on my wrist. I turn it up to a 10. You can't do shit that I did. I'm always doing it big.
there will be two outlet lounges next mm. to each other, one for the men and one for the women. Uh, and we do this in order for you to have... And IT racing has become very complicated. It used to be start of time and swim up time. Now it's like... Yeah, let's and ten different things. <laughs> Check it. So, um, again, there are two. Le- they had to come and check Freshie out because Lionel Sanders always eats Freshie and looks pretty healthy. Nice wraps. Burrito is almost like Chipotle, but. So what happens when you start getting old, you gotta do stuff like this before you run. <laughs> okay, so we're running towards the park. Here's your half an hour, 40 minutes-ish run. A lot of uphill and a lot of concrete here. And I think we're getting high just by running through the city here because there's so much weed. It's like, a, it's like, it's like Amsterdam. Are we in Amsterdam? Don't mind us, we're just quickly escaping the graveyard. Someone made a nice fire here. Holy smoke. That's a drop off. Are you racing this weekend? Hey. All is fixed now because we have this pizza. Hey, Hi. don't steal a sneaky. Bike horse out. As soon as the lift gets it out there. Oh, right. yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, come on. So this is the current weather situation here in Montreal. Let me zoom in here. It is wet, very wet. And that means, let me just get some light on the subject here. That means that it's gonna be a duathlon tomorrow because apparently there's been so much rain, uh, weather forecast crazy, and yeah, they've had to open the floodgates kind of from the city into the harbor or into the area here where we're gonna swim, which makes the water very, very dirty, which means it's a duathlon for the heats on Friday, which a lot of people aren't happy about, but I mean, it is what it is. Everyone's in the same boat, um, or not in a boat actually swimming, but you know what I mean? And yeah, so kind of we'll see how it goes. We're gonna go for a bike course mineralization now in the wet outside. Hopefully we stay upright and a bit of a swim run today, the usual. And yeah, hope you're enjoying the video so far. It's been a pretty crazy, it's probably been one of the most challenging travels we've had in a long time. We had drug testing last night after we had to go and pick our packets up and it ended up being like two hours because there was only one nurse for all the athletes. So it's been pretty chaos to tell the least. And yeah, we managed to have dinner and pizza last night about 11 o'clock. Here's what it is. Uh, let's get the day going. And- so we're on route to check the bike horse out. You could be the next one. And now I've got an Olympic So you gotta do that tunnel more often. Yeah. I was always happy, I was like, okay. Record the half to close the streets. So you have to be on the right on single file.
Well, Rachel is busy getting changed here. I thought I'd fill you in uh, on the bike course. It's pretty wild. It was very wet. Should be dry on the weekend, so that's good. And there's a lot of bumps, pretty crazy. 7.2K total bike course each time we go through. And it's gonna be wild, I'll say that much. Definitely uh, duathlon on Friday. In case you didn't know by now, it's a duathlon. Probably said that five times already, maybe six. And yeah, looking forward to it. Run, bike, run, 1K run, seven or 8K bike, I think, and then a 2K run. And hopefully we get through to the final and we get to race on Saturday onto some montage of pictures, hopefully that we get because I can't use any footage from World Triathlon Series because of all the rights and whatnot. Picture time. Okay, and so that's my race pretty much over with. Ended up coming, I think, 15th or 16th odd. Didn't make it through to the final round, but got to the semi-finals, which was pretty good, and I was pretty much on the limit. <coughs> that was tough, my goodness. Yeah, that, way. that was the most chaotic swim I've had in months or years, well, months. I was just like, at the first buoy, I was like, vertical in the water, and I was like, screaming to trying to get like my head above the water. On the bike, I managed to bridge up the gap. I got to the front again. Uh, people were starting to lose their water bottles, so I managed to get around one of the bottles. But then, as soon as I thought, okay, well, I was, I'm still on my bike, I'm still uh, almost in the bunch, there was another water bottle coming towards me, and I just like jumped over it or rode over it, whatever. I was like, oh, thanks, we've done some mountain biking. With that tire, but then my bars actually came down just because I hit it so hard. Uh, so that's where I lost the connection with the with the back, and I just put way too much effort in trying to get back to the front in the last well was it like one two k's on the bike, and then now on the run I just I struggled. I done. And so what, what place 20, did you come? Twenty first. Twenty first. Which means zero dollars. But you get points. <laughs> yeah, some points, but I I wasn't here for points to be honest. <laughs> Massage time with Edwin. <laughs> Woo! Famous.